Right here, I have some pendulum set up for you. You can see right here up at the very top, this is technically called the center of suspension, but call it the very top, it doesn't really matter to me. And it's, so the length is all the way from here, all the way down to the center of mass of the bob. Now, I have three different bobs set up so that we can talk about and use, the, see how the equations work. So we'll start with this one, this one right here, I like to call white snake bob, because he's made of metal and he's heavy. Therefore, he's heavy metal, or white snake. Uh -huh. Here I go again on my own, going down the only road I've ever known. Like a drifter, I was born to walk alone, but I made up my mind. I ain't wasting no more time. Here I go again. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> yeah. The bad 80s metal hairband. Okay, so we have White Snake. We also have what I like to call James Taylor, because he plays wooden music. There is a young cowboy who lives on the ring. His horse and his cattle are his only companion. I sang that song, Sweet Baby James, every night for almost eight years put Geneve to bed. When she was very young, she asked for a song about a baby. And that was the only song I could think of. Sweet baby James. There you go. OK. So what I have is White Snake and James Taylor. And the goal here is to discuss how these different lengths, et cetera, are going to affect what happens. OK. So I'm going to take White Snake and James Taylor. I'm going to pull them back both to the same amplitude. I'm going to let go of them. And the question is, which one is going to have a larger period? Which one is going to take longer to come back to where it started? In White Snake. So you think White Snake is going to take longer to come back to its original position, the period? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. I'm sorry, Ian. It appears as though they actually both take the exact same amount of time. If you take a moment to look at the equation, period equals 2 pi times the square root of L over G class is the mass of the pendulum included in that equation? No. No. So it does not affect the period of the pendulum. OK. So let's try again. I'm going to take white snake to approximately this amplitude. I'm going to take James Taylor to a slightly larger amplitude. I'm going to let go of both of them. When I do, which one is going to take a longer time to come back to its original position? Which one is going to have a longer period? <laughs> Ah, oh, Donahoe just wanted to get right in there. James Taylor, because? It's the amplitude Because the amplitude is greater. Here we go. I'm sorry, Donahoe. Again, it appears as though they have the same period. If we go back to the equation one more time, the period equals 2 pi times the square root of L over G. Class, is the amplitude in there? No. 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 Is the mass in there? No. Okay. These two things, so often students think that the mass is going to affect the period of the pendulum and the amplitude is going to affect the period of the pendulum, but neither of them do. The only things that do are the distance from the center of suspension to the center of mass of the object, or L, and the acceleration to gravity, in other words, whichever planet you are on. So we come back to James Taylor Bob and Short Bob. So we have James Taylor and Short Bob. So I'm going to take James Taylor and Short Bob back to approximately the same amplitude and I'm going to let go of them. Well, actually, it doesn't matter. The amplitude doesn't matter. So I'm going to different amplitudes just for fun. But they're both going to be less than 15 degrees. When I do so, which one is going to take longer to come back to the equilibrium position? In other words, which one is going to have a longer period? Julia. Um, James Taylor. James Taylor, because? Because the, it's L is longer. Because it's L is longer. If you look, you are absolutely correct. If you see, because the length of the short bomb is less, it has a shorter period and therefore see exactly that. So please don't forget that the mass of a pendulum and the amplitude do not affect the period. 